welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today I have a very fun video for you. I'm going to be sharing with you my top 15 most popular WW items that I no longer eat and what I've replaced those with. Now I want to preface this with I follow a clean approach to WW, which means that I try to eat as clean whole food as humanly possible. Now, I don't say that I'm 100% clean eating. I just try to do my absolute best. I like to follow the 90-10 rule where 90% of what I eat is extra clean and then that 10% gives me a little bit of leeway to bring in some of my favorite foods. But there are some really popular foods in the WW community, things that I see on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, just all over, even at my WW studio, that I have found cleaner, healthier whole food replacements for. So I wanted to share those 15 items with you today. Now I am not a doctor or a nutritionist and I do not work for WW and this is my personal opinion and the swaps that I have made personally. Now you feel free to eat whatever you'd like on WW. That's the beauty of the program. But for me, these are just some healthier alternatives that I've chosen. So I wanted to share them with you to give you some ideas and maybe some brand new food finds that you never thought were WW friendly. So let's jump in to today's video. I'm run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. One is popcorn. I see all over the WW community about Skinny Pop, Boom Chicka Pop, all of those low fat, low calorie popcorn options. Now I know the best alternative for popcorn is popping it at home yourself where you can control the ingredients, but sometimes we just need an on the go snack. So I have substituted the Boom Chicka Pops and the Skinny Pops of the world with this olive oil popcorn from Trader Joe's. Now this popcorn is delicious. All that is in here is popcorn, olive oil, and salt. It tastes really good. It's crunchy like popcorn should be. Just the right amount of salt and popped in olive oil, which is best in class oil. Great price, about $2 a bag at Trader Joe's. So whenever I'm in the mood for popcorn, I now reach for the Trader Joe's olive oil popcorn. Next is diet pop, diet soda. That's another thing that I have eliminated from my diet for several reasons. One, because drinking any type of diet soda or pop can make your body crave sugar. Also, even more important than that of why I've moved away from diet soda is because it contains caramel coloring, which I try not to have any caramel coloring in my diet at all. If you're not sure what some of these ingredients are and why I've chosen not to eat them, I will link my ingredients to avoid and why video down in the description box for you. Highly recommend you watch that. I go in depth to all of the ingredients to avoid and the reasons why. Also in diet soda and diet pot, is aspartame and aspartame is a sweetener that I do not want to consume for several several reasons it is not good for your body your body doesn't know how to digest aspartame and we've heard all about this over the years in the media about how it's just not a good sweetener alternative so between the caramel coloring that and the fact that it wants me to eat more sugar I just have eliminated diet soda and I've replaced it with Zevia 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 I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but basically this is a soda alternative. It is sweetened with stevia and it is made to be colorless. So when you pour this cola or root beer into a glass, it is clear because they remove the caramel coloring, which is huge for me. Now this does have natural flavors, which I don't love, but this is a great alternative if you're looking to cut out diet soda, diet pop out of your diet for all of the reasons mentioned before. The next one is a very popular WW staple for so many of us, and that is the Premier Protein. Now I have never been a big fan of Premier. If you follow my channel, you know that you don't see it very often here on my channel because I've never been a fan, one of the taste and two of the ingredients. So I wanted to find a protein shake in the event that I needed one. And again, this is not something that I eat, drink very often. I generally try to eat a more whole food, but sometimes if I'm traveling and I want something for my coffee, you know, the famous protein coffee, or I just want to add a little bit to maybe a protein shake or a smoothie, or maybe I just want a protein shake after a good workout, I no longer drink the Premier. And again, the laundry list of ingredients is the primary reason I could go on and on as to what ingredients in Premier I don't wanna consume, but I just went ahead and found an alternative for protein shakes, and that is Iconic. Now, Iconic makes a grass-fed, plant-based protein shake with 
excellent, excellent ingredients. They even use hyaloic, hyaloic sunflower oil as the oil, just full of really, really good ingredients. So I have just transitioned over to Iconic. They have several flavors. You can order these on Amazon. You can order these online. I will put a link down in the description box for you. This is the Cafe Latte. It actually has caffeine in it. So this is great as just a protein shake if you want that little boost of caffeine. And it tastes really good in coffee as well. They have vanilla, matcha, chocolate, caramel, all the things, and just far, far better ingredients than the Premier Protein. So sorry in advance for those of you that love your Premier. You can continue to drink that, of course. I just have found a little bit healthier alternative. Next up is fat-free or low-fat yogurt, or dairy in general. I have completely eliminated low-fat and fat-free yogurt from my diet. And the reason for that is because when you take a full-fat yogurt and you make it low fat or fat free, you remove all of its nutritional benefits. So basically you're removing all of the benefits that you get from yogurt to make it low fat and fat free. So I just have eliminated that from my diet and I'm now eating a whole milk or grass fed full fat yogurt. I use this in smoothies. I put this on my quinoa bowls. I use this in place of non-fat or low-fat yogurt or Greek yogurt. This particular one is not Greek, but they have several fantastic options for a full-fat Greek yogurt as well. I really like this brand. This is a fabulous brand of yogurt, this Maple Hill. It's 100% grass-fed. So I'm getting all the nutritional benefits, and to be honest with you guys, if you lower the serving size, it's not a lot of smart points. You can have a quarter cup of full fat yogurt for about two smart points. So I would gladly take the points for it to get all of the nutritional benefits. And we haven't even talked about the taste. The taste of this is incredible. So I now just go with a full fat, regular or Greek yogurt. Another extremely popular item in the WW community is I can't believe it's not butter light, the spray, the tub, all the things. I no longer eat light butter because of the oils that are used in light. In fact, as a general rule, I don't consume anything that's low fat, fat free, or sugar free. So you're gonna see that kind of theme throughout these items. But I've eliminated a lot of the tubbed butter, the spray butter, all of those out of my diet. Now, I didn't wanna transition entirely over to real butter because of the smart points. I was hoping to find an alternative for light butter that tastes really good and isn't really high in smart points. And I found just that. And that is Melt Plant based butter. This is so good. It's in a tub, just like the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, the Country Crock, whatever tubbed butters you're using, but the ingredients in this are so incredibly good. They use an expeller pressed oil, which is best in class. No artificial flavors, no natural flavors, no artificial colors, and it tastes really, really delicious. Now, I know that I Can't Believe It's Not Butter or a light butter spread. You can generally have a tablespoon for about one smart point. A tablespoon of the melt butter is three smart points but I find this butter to be very rich and flavorful that I can get away with a half of a tablespoon for one smart point and get as much if not more flavor than I did with a light butter and I'm eating really good ingredients I find this just in my regular butter section at my local grocery store and I've also seen it at pretty much every natural food store as well while we're talking dairy let's talk cheese I do not eat any fat-free cheese any longer in fact I don't really eat any light cheese either Either. I try to go with just a traditional cheese. I try to go with one that's organic whenever possible and grass-fed is even better. It's just really, really hard to find. So I've subbed out my fat-free craft or great value cheese, both in cheddar and mozzarella for full fat cheese like this. So this is from my local health food store, Natural Grocers. This is a full fat Italian blend cheese. It's organic and it is only three smart points for a quarter of a cup. So it's really not that much more in smart points from a light cheese, but you don't have any of the filler that you have in light cheese. It's literally the cheese. I also love the Trader Joe's organic mozzarella. You can have an entire quarter cup of that for two smart points and it's mozzarella cheese and it's organic. So I've just chosen to take the fat free out of my diet. Number one, I don't like the ingredients, but number two and most importantly, the cheese is very plasticky. It doesn't melt, it's flavorless, and to be honest, I'd rather take points and enjoy the food that I'm eating. That's what my points are for, is to really like and enjoy and feel satiated with the foods that I'm eating. So I just go with my traditional cheeses. 
Another popular item is diet or low calorie bread. The Sara Lee breads, the nature's own butter breads. I don't eat those any longer either. Primarily, you guys know I've talked about before, I do not like the Sara Lee bread. I find it very cardboardy and airy. There's holes in it. I don't really feel like it's bread. It doesn't taste like bread. It doesn't satisfy me. It doesn't cure my craving for bread. Now the butter bread is better in that respect, but the issue is the ingredients in those breads. It's enriched flour, generally using a canola or a soybean oil and just things that I try to avoid. So I just looked around and I found a bread that was way, way better ingredient wise, nutritional wise, and really not much more when it comes to smart points. And that's going to be a sprouted bread. So this is the Trader Joe's sprouted bread. There is also Ezekiel, which makes a fantastic sprouted bread. I've talked about this a hundred times in my videos. I also use the Ezekiel English muffins in replacement of any other type of English muffin, whether it be sourdough, Thomas Light, Again, ingredients and just not feeling satiated and like I'm having real nutritious bread. Sprouted bread is always your best option. Generally, it is found in the freezer section because it does not contain preservatives, so they have to freeze it in order for it to last. This Trader Joe's bread, you guys, is two smart points a slice. The slices are pretty similar to your Sara Lee's or your butter breads of the world, but they're heartier and more flavorful and so good and full of fabulous ingredients. Not a single ingredient that's questionable in sprouted bread. And it's affordable. If you buy the Trader Joe's bread, I think it's about $3 a loaf. I know that the Ezekiel can be a little bit more, but again, I will gladly take an extra smart point to have a better quality bread. Next is sugar-free syrup. I no longer have any type of sugar-free syrup. This includes syrup in my coffee. I do not use Jordan Skinny syrups. Those contain sucralose, which is something that I avoid as well. Spikes your blood sugar, makes your body crave sugar, and is just an artificial, chemically processed sweetener. Same with sugar-free syrup that you put on pancakes. So all those delicious sugar-free syrups out there, flip them over and check out the ingredient label. It's not even syrup. Generally, it's rice syrup over from China that isn't even actual maple syrup. So. I too have switched over to an organic maple syrup. I'm gonna insert a picture because I'm out, unfortunately. I really like this Vermont maple syrup from Trader Joe's. You can really just get any organic pure maple syrup. Now, of course, the smart points are going to be higher, but I will generally just put a tablespoon or two on my pancakes, my waffles, quinoa bowls, and take the smart points for it because I know what I'm giving my body is a real whole food that my body knows how to process. So I've just chosen to take take out really any chemically processed syrups and put in a real syrup. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I put in my coffee next. So I mentioned that I no longer drink sugar-free syrups, Jordan Skinny syrups, Tarani Da Vinci, whatever you can find. I also, sad to say, and I was very sad you guys in the beginning, that I no longer drink sugar-free creamer. I was honestly disgusted when I flipped over the sugar-free creamer and read the ingredients. Now, this is just me. You may be like me and love your sugar-free creamer, and I say if you like it, you continue to drink it, but for me, it was just ingredient-wise not what I wanted to put into my body. Does it taste good? Yes. Is it low point? Yes. But just for me, the ingredients were just not something I wanted to eat any longer. So let me just tell you, I was on the hunt for a flavored creamer that had good ingredients. And that task was very challenging. I was just for a while having just half and half or heavy whipping cream or milk in my coffee and putting in like a whole earth or a monk fruit sweetener packet until I discovered this. This is a coffee creamer. It's a superfood creamer from Layard Lard, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a surfer. One of you guys let me know in one of my videos that this is a surfer that has designed this superfood creamer. You guys, this stuff is so good. It comes in several flavors, including unflavored. Luckily, the flavored ones are not natural flavors. That's what you're going to find in a lot of flavored, really anything. But in this creamer, he uses extracts like vanilla extract or mint extract. My favorite flavors are the vanilla, the chocolate mint, the cacao, and the pumpkin spice. I have never tried the original or the turmeric, but they make those as well. You can have one big tablespoon of this creamer for two smart points, and it is so good. I literally do this, my collagen, and some half and half, and it's absolutely delicious. The flavor is there, the sweetness is there. It's made from coconut sugar, which is best in class for sweeteners. 
love this creamer so much. They do sell the big bag of unsweetened at Costco or at least at my Costco, but I buy these flavored ones online. They're not very expensive. I think they're $14.95 and they last forever. I mean, there's a ton in this little bag. They reseal and I just throw them in my coffee cupboard. So I'll link these down below for you guys. But if you are like me and you loved your sugar-free coffee make creamer, this is a great alternative. It's equally as delicious and the ingredients are on point. Another thing I was very sad about was my fat-free ready whip. You guys know I ate that every day, sometimes several times a day. I loved my fat-free ready whip. Now, not only am I not a fan of the oil in there, but what I'm most not a fan of when it comes to any whipped topping, and I'm not just saying fat-free or light, I'm talking whipped topping in a can in general is carrageenan and that is an inflammatory and i have eliminated that 100 percent from my diet so i even looked at these expensive organic whipped creams that are five or six dollars a can and they still contained carrageenan so i thought my days of whipped cream were over over until i found this and this is the so delicious cocoa whip now i found this at my local health food store in the freezer section so basically the same place you're going to find cool whip this, no carrageenan, and the only questionable ingredient in this is natural flavors. Not something I like to see, but I would rather have natural flavors any day of the week over carrageenan. So I love this, it's delicious. I've gotten a lot of questions on whether or not it tastes like coconut. Nope, it does not, and you can have Depending on how much you have, it's one to two smart points. So instead of zero points of fat-free Ready Whip, you're gonna have to take a one to two smart point hit, but you know that you're eating good ingredients, and I'm telling you guys, it's rich and creamy. Ha, oh, I love it. I no longer miss fat-free Ready Whip. Next item is another extremely popular WW food, and that is your Dan and Lighten Fit yogurts, your Oikos yogurts, all of those light yogurts on the market. Now, I mentioned earlier when we talked about full fat plain yogurt that I don't eat any light or low fat yogurt because it the process strips the nutrients out of the yogurt. But that's not the only reason that I stay away from flavored yogurts like Dan and Light and Fit. Number one, they all have natural flavors. So anytime you buy a flavored yogurt, it generally has natural flavors. There are a few, like the one I'm going to show you on the market that does not and is still flavored, but most of them are going to have natural flavors. A lot of them have sweeteners I don't eat, and some of them even have oils that I don't prefer to eat. So I found this, and this, you guys, is delicious. This is the Siggy. So this is actually the 2%. This is the strawberry and lingonberry. Now, I actually prefer the full fat Siggy, so the 4%, but it's very, very hard to find in my area so I picked up some of these two percent ones these are really good and literally the ingredients in here there's four let's talk about them because I want to show you that there are yogurts on the market that are flavored that do not have natural flavors so this has pasteurized skim milk pasteurized cream berries cane sugar oh I'm sorry there's more than four there's six live active cultures and fruit pectin. So it's flavored with actual fruit, not with natural flavoring. So love this yogurt. It's really good. This container is going to cost you about five smart points. Now I know that that's a lot of points for some of you. So I want to talk a little bit about Siggy's and bringing Siggy's into your life, even if you don't want to spend five points. So Siggy's does make a 0% yogurt. Now again, you're missing a lot of the nutritional benefits of a full fat yogurt, but the ingredients are just as great as the full fat yogurt, and they are only three smart points. So well worth the extra point compared to Light and Fit for the better ingredients. Your body knows how to process everything in Siggy's. It's thick, it's creamy, it's delicious. So if you don't wanna take a five smart point hit, pick up the 0% Siggy's, and it's only going to cost you three smart points. Next is ice cream. Now let me just tell you what a feat this has been. I have yet to find an ice cream, like an actual ice cream bar, other than if I have a full fruit bar, I'm talking ice cream, like creamy ice cream with chocolate and all those delicious flavors. That is something that I will eat. They all contain some sort of ingredient that I don't want. All of the light yogurts, like your Halo Tops, those uh, enlightened, those are all have a lot of sugar alcohols and I try not to eat sugar alcohol at all. And if I do, it's in a very, very small amount. So those ice creams are out. The full fat ice creams contain a lot of oils that I don't want. So I'm still, my friends, on the hunt for a good, clean ice cream. And when I find it, I promise to share it with you. But if I am craving ice cream, something that resembles like a chocolate coated ice cream bar, I choose Cleo bars. And I'm gonna insert a picture because I am completely 
completely out. My Walmart has not had them the last couple of times, but Cleo bars are excellent. Now they are kind of high in smart points. They're about six smart points per bar and they're small. I would say that they're about, I don't know, two and a half inches, but they have really, really good ingredients. They're whole food. You still get that feel of ice cream. You can even pop them in the freezer and you get a little more ice cream feel and they're coated in the most delicious chocolate. So if you want to have an ice cream dupe that's cleaner and you're okay spending the points, Cleo bars are definitely the way to go. And again, you can find these at Walmart and on the Cleo bar website. I'll link that down below for you guys. And generally they're about a dollar a piece at Walmart. So really, really affordable. And I'm telling you, they are delicious. It tastes like chocolate covered cheesecake. Next up are WW snacks. Sorry, WW, but all those snacks that you buy at your local workshop, they're chips, they're cookies, they're two point bars, all the WW snacks. I know that they reformulated their ingredients about a year ago, but I flipped over quite a few boxes at my local workshop of pretty much all of the different snack options that they have. And there is not a single one that has ingredients in it that I wanted to eat. Unfortunately, the mini bars have a lot of artificial sweeteners. They even have like malitol and some of the really not good for you artificial sweeteners. The chips and things are just made with processed ingredients. So I wanted to have lots of snack options. So you may have already seen my favorite WW snacks where I bring you all the delicious clean eating snacks or it may get posted later, so stay tuned regardless for that video. But I just found a few of my favorite snack alternatives. I found sweet and I found savory. So first let's talk savory. Let's talk about alternatives and dupes for the WW chip snacks, like the little nacho chips, the, I don't even know what all they have, the barbecue chips, and that's these. These are the Siete grain-free tortilla chips. These are incredible. The ingredients in these are absolutely 100% perfect. They taste really good. These are the lime. I love these. The nacho is really good. They even have just your traditional tortilla chip. This is a great alternative to a chip. And these are about five smart points per serving, but you just cut down the amount of chips that you have. Make sure you weigh them out, you get more, and you can lower the smart points. But if you want a good chip, this is a fantastic option. Also, what if you really, really, really like the little two-point bars and you just want something sweet from WW? So I found a few options. So first, there are these. These are the Chalk Zero Milk Chocolate Squares. Now, these have pretty darn good ingredients. They taste really, really Really delicious and they are a little square for two smart points I'll show you the size of the square so this is what it looks like so that's the size of the square and it's only two smart points and it's much better ingredients it's the same smart points as the mini bars but really good and much better ingredients like I mentioned you can pick these up off of the nutrition website I'll link that down below and also for the sweet tooth these are amazing these are the Lillibees brownie thins in chocolate mint you guys, these are like little crusty corners of the brownie pan. I'm obsessed. They have chocolate mint, chocolate, and salted caramel. I buy these off of the Thrive Market. I'll link the Thrive down below as well. There is $20 worth of free product from the Thrive Market right now. So if you're looking at joining, this is a great time. It's a fantastic place. But I buy these off of there and I am going to literally buy like 10 packages the next time I place an order. It's five smart points per serving, but... If you have half of a serving, which is about six to eight brownie bites, it's two points. So that's what I like to do for a snack. And I'm telling you, these are so good and the ingredients absolutely fantastic. So there are some good replacements for those WW snacks. And also another thing I wanna point out is those snacks are pricey at the WW workshop. These are much more affordable options as well. So it's kind of a win-win. And last but certainly not least is probably the one a lot of you are gonna come at me for. And that's okay. You guys continue to eat what you wanna eat. I'm just simply sharing some alternatives that I've come up with. And that is an alternative for the Olay wrap or any of those low smart point wraps. I know the Tomorrow's, the Mission Carb Counter, if you look at the back of those wraps, they generally contain a lot of unhealthy oils for one, that's the main thing. And a lot of them are made from processed flours, like enriched wheat flour, wheat flour, just flours that generally contain a lot of pesticides like glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. So 
I went on the hunt and I found a couple of options. First, I'm going to insert a picture of the first one. These are the Siete tortillas. Now, let me preface this with these are very expensive. I've yet to purchase them because of the price point. They are about $9 per package. Now, if you get the tortillas with the almond flour. I believe that there are three smart points, but I'll put that here on the screen if I'm wrong. But this is a great alternative. In fact, these actually have the cleanest ingredients of all the tortillas I've ever been able to find. But again, they're pricey. But I did find a fantastic option. Ah, La Tortilla Factory Low Carb Tortillas. You guys, these are just as big, if not bigger than the Olay wraps. These have excellent, excellent ingredients two smart points. So one extra point and you are getting really, really good ingredients. They also have smaller tortillas that are perfect for things like fajitas or soft tacos. And those are one point a piece. So again, you guys, there's alternatives out there for some of your favorite things. If you're just looking for a little bit better ingredients, I'm obsessed with these. All right. So that is it on my top 15 favorite WW food items and some healthy alternatives. I hope that I gave you some great ideas of maybe some things that you can look for the next time that you're doing your grocery shopping and you're adding some of these WW favorites to your grocery list. Again, if you choose to eat the items that I mentioned, more power to you. That's the beauty again of WW is we can eat whatever we want. I'm just here to share with you some of my new favorites that follow a little bit better with my clean approach to the WW program. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to link everything down below that I can find for you guys. And I'll even list out these 15 items and what I substituted them with. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to add to your grocery list. So thank you for watching. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around and join my channel. I am on WW The Blue Plan and I do follow a clean approach to my weight loss journey. So hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. You don't want to miss out. I upload almost daily. Give this video a big thumbs up if you found some great new items. And if you made it all the way to the end of this probably really long video again, leave me the thumbs up emoji down in the comments. If you're on a computer or a laptop and you don't have emojis, just write thumbs up and I'll take that as a win. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.